Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I will be talking about a off-page SEO case study. This was for a e-commerce website. Now, we were actually able to double the amount of traffic going through to this website in a very, very short period of time. Now, a few things to know about this website is that it already had a lot of topical authority in the industry. It was already ranking when we signed them up. They actually had a total of 8,000 organic keywords, so it wasn't a brand new website. It had a little bit of history. However, what it was lacking was the off-page SEO side of stuff. Now, for anybody that doesn't know what off-page SEO is, it's almost as if it's a vouch from another website pointing back to your website, saying how great you are. So, for example, if you could imagine if BBC were to say that you are the best running shoe provider or if you are the best plumber in your area, Google would essentially trust BBC and they would give your website a little bit more power. Now, if we were to take a look at this website now, as of today, it is obviously ranking for over 16,000 keywords. It's got a traffic value of 16,000 US dollars. So if we take a look at where we actually signed this client up, it was obviously early May and very quickly short after we saw some really good results and we have also been able to grow the traffic value as well. Before we get into this video, make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. So that being said, I'm going to show you exactly the strategy that we used on how we calculated certain anchors and how we actually done the link building itself. So when it comes to actually link building and also off-page SEO, we need to understand first of all the types of links that are required. So if we head over to searchery.com, so for this client we actually used two types of links. We used guest posts and also tier twos and I'll explain what both of those do. So this is an example of a guest post. As we can see here, we are linking to another website which is to do with HMRC tax investigations. So this page was trying to rank for tax investigations. Now what a guest post is, is essentially it's a relevant website link back to your website. That's what I mean when I say it's a vouch. Now, the issue you also have to bear in mind with guest posts is, so say for example, you went and got a link from Forbes saying how great your business is or how great your e-commerce brand is. The issue that you have is that just because it's on Forbes, it doesn't mean that page actually has any history. So that's when the tier two links come into play. This is a diagram of how tiered link building works and why it works. So if we can imagine our website at the very, very top here, it could be a local business or it could be an e-commerce commerce brand and then you have your guest posts. Your guest posts would be a relevant link linking to one of your money pages whether it's to do with hire a plumber in London or whether it's to do with buy running shoes. So these would be your guest posts however with the power of tier twos you're essentially building links to your links which then pass more power and more link juice back up to your money site. So that's why tiered link building works. Not many people do it. It is a little bit more of an advanced link building strategy however when you actually start to do it for your website it works very very well mainly because you are passing more power and you're also passing more relevance as well to your guest post which then ultimately links back up to your money site now when it comes to actually doing link building we need to understand the anchor text so the anchor text is essentially the anchor that links back up to your website so there are several types of anchor text there is branded anchors there's partial match slash phrase match anchors there's random anchor text exact match link text related and generic and naked link. Now what I will do is I will link this in the description below. However, we just need to know this because we're going to feed everything to ChatGPT and it's going to automate a lot of our link building. So the first step is essentially calculating what our competitors have. So what I have done here is I have searched for buy wood flooring. This could be any search term you want, but let's say we wanted to try to rank a brand new website for buy wood flooring. So ukwood.co.uk is obviously ranking position one. Now what we would want to do is go on to their website and copy the URL and then go over to Ahrefs. So once we are actually in Ahrefs, what we would want to do is put in the URL at the top and then click on exact. Then what we would want to do is click on to anchors at the left hand side here. Then as we can see here, it has a total of 15 anchors. We then want to click on the export button and import it into Google Sheets. So this is what it looks like once you have imported it onto Google Sheets. We obviously have all of our anchors over here and then what we want to do is copy this and go over to ChatGPT. So this is the prompt that I will be using. Can you group these anchors for the following website? The domain is UK Direct and then I have listed all of the anchors. So branded anchor text, partial match, random exact match related, generic anchor text, naked link and then here are a list of the anchors and then that is the list. All I have done there is I have just copied and pasted all of the anchors that I exported from Ahrefs onto ChatGPT and 
and this is the list of the category types of anchor text. So what you can essentially do is just go to this article, copy all of the categories of the anchor text, and then you will have the list of the anchor text as well. Then all I'm going to do is click on enter. So as we can see here, it has completed the full breakdown. As we can see here, branded anchor text. So we've got all of these. We have partial match and we have random anchor text. And it also has given us a full breakdown. So branded anchor text, if we were to compete against these guys, we would need 33% of our backlinks. With branded anchors, we would need 37.5% of our backlinks with the anchor of a partial match or a phrase match. And then we have 12.0% is random and then 4.17% is generic. So you can calculate the perfect anchor text ratio just by using your competitors and chat GBT. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do the exact same process just another time on a bigger website. So then once we have pasted the URL, we then want to go over to anchors and then export all of these anchors. So once we have all of the anchors in our Google sheet, what we then want to do is just copy and paste all of these over onto chat GBT with the exact same prompt that we used before. So as we can see here, we have calculated all of the anchors. It actually had 194 different anchors that we very quickly categorized and grouped into subsections. So as we can see here with this brand here, we have got a lot less branded links. We have actually 3.75%, which is way different to the e-commerce brand that we were looking at just before. And then we have a lot more partial and phrase match anchors, 35%. And then we have random anchor text, 8.75, related anchor text, 1.25. So that has been exactly how I would be calculating all of our backlink anchors. So the next step would be to essentially do the outreach and acquire the links yourself. So once you've calculated your anchor text, the next step would be to essentially acquire the links, whether you use a brand like Searcheru to do the link building, or if you want to do the outreach yourself. The outreach process is a little bit of a time consuming process. I personally like to just use a brand to do it because the quality insurance is always right. Then once you have all of your guest posts, the next step would be to essentially do the tiered link building. And I'm going to show you exactly how I plan out my tier two links as well. So the first step when it comes to tiered link building is actually finding the most relevant type of links to build the tier two links through to. So what we would want to do is first of all, go over to the backlink section. Then what we're going to do is set up a few filters. What we want to do is make certain that we're only looking at do follow links and the backlink type in content and our range of, let's say, 22. Then the next step is to actually filter by anchor text. So obviously we want to be ranked best casino sites on this page. However, this keyword would differentiate between whatever you're trying to rank for. So if you're trying to rank for best running shoes, you might want to stick in running shoes. Or if you want to try to rank for lawyers, you want to stick in lawyers there. Then what we're going to do is click on show results. So as you can see here, we have come back with a group of 10 links. So we've narrowed it down from 190 backlinks down to 10 really super relevant links. And as you can see here, if I sort by the amount of referring domains, none of these links actually have any referring domains pointing through to it. So none of these actually have tier links. And these would be the links that we would want to be building tier backlinks through to. So very quickly, we have a hit list of websites to be building some tier two links through to, and these are all super relevant. So as we can see here, we actually have some super powerful links, like for example, on magazine, and the actual content is talking about casinos, which we are obviously trying to rank for casinos as well. And also, if we take a look at the anchor, British based casinos, and it's obviously linking to our best online casinos page as well. So these would be the pages that I would be building the tier two backlinks through to and giving it ultimately more power. So that has been my off page SEO case study. If you guys do have any further questions, please drop them down below. And if you want to book me for a free 15 minute growth strategy for your website, make sure to check out casradash.com. The link is down in the description. Thanks.